Yo, what's going on guys, and welcome back here to another episode of the Beyond Dust SMP. Uh, whereas last episode, uh, we, you know, we built this bridge up and we built this enchanting tower, which I have since edited a little bit. Added in those nice little windows. I think it adds a little bit more detail. Uh, I put it up on Reddit again and I uh, got a few suggestions. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way it's looking now. I think it could do a little bit more work, but I think for the meantime, the windows definitely have some cool, like, aspects to them and really help out a lot. So uh, yeah, today I have been working on a few things down here in our mine. I thought we could go ahead and finish this off today and also maybe move a little our cows into a proper proper area, maybe build a couple of pens for them and you know build a decent sized farmland and uh, also work on what we have down here. So let's go have a look at what I've been up to uh, coming down this way. I have also since gone ahead and enchanted uh, my diamond diamond pickaxe a little bit more so we now have unbreaking 2 and silk touch on it uh, I just kind of really needed the unbreaking because it was really hard and oh my god there's zombies down here so in here we had our diamonds over that direction um, but I went ahead and took out all the light sources because I th hoped maybe we could get some glow berries coming in but I don't know if that actually worked or not so Anyways, we keep that there. Uh, but this is kind of our area at the moment for all of our things. Let's just light this up because I don't want any more zombies spawning in this area. But this is kind of what I was thinking here. So we have this area dug out. I was going to add these pillars coming in here in the central and on the outskirts just here. Now, I also kind of want to move this over one more block. Uh, just because if we come in this one here, that's already pre dug as we can see. Um, if we go here, if we come across three spaces, so we block this back up and we dig just here it's going to give enough spaces uh, for us in between to not have to worry about like this middle block because diamonds you would see so you can leave three gaps and then if we come across here the three gap would be just there so we have to extend this one more across but that's no big dramas and I might just leave it there so inside this room here we'll have one two three four five five mines or maybe four or four or five mines ready to go in this just little area and then from here we can set up kind of our cart distribution area so we can just come up load it up the carts and send them on their way all the way up to the top for some auto smelting but i don't know if we'll get to that today today because i want to get this whole area uh nice and finished um yeah, I don't know. It's I think it's going to look really cool. And I have a really cool, like, palette design and, you know, all this kind of stuff ready to go. But we might need some wool, maybe. We'll see how we go. <laughs> um, but that's kind of on the cards for today. So we might even come down and, uh, you know, start knocking out this stuff. Or actually, I have a pretty cool idea we should go do first. So whilst mining in that area, I got 12 diamond ore. So we can come back and, uh, you know, use those eventually too once we get some more... Uh, like in fortune that would make sense uh, rather than using some of our diamonds right now but I want to take some of this obsidian and I want to make a little nether portal uh, just down I'm thinking just down here for the meantime I will eventually kind of make it a lot bigger and over that direction but for the meantime I think we can just get like a nice little starter portal area going nothing too crazy but a, a nice little design kind of embedded in this wall plus it gives us a reason to kind of do this pathway as well and get that sorted so we might go ahead and jump oh we could actually do it down here as well now you know what we will go stick it over there so i'm gonna go ahead and start getting that all laid out and i'll bring you guys back for the design okay so i think this is going to be the base of our portal just in here so let's go ahead and let's make this thing work so let's go up this way um let's go ahead and start filling in all the acid in i really hope this actually works i don't really no, the dimensions should everything still work. I think it's just the max you can do is 21 by 21, so we should be fine. Uh, but at the same time, I'm really not 100% sure. So let's go ahead and. So I love how I said it was going to be a nice little portal. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out to this massive, massive thing down here. But uh, we're going to encase this and like close it in and stuff and make it seem a lot nicer than like just a square big thing in the, um, you know, in the wall. But I thought this way they would give us enough room to kind of work around it and kind of get all that looking cool. Um, but I was thinking of maybe trying to get this like looking into like kind of like a cave sort of area. So like have the dripstone and coming all down there with like the jagged points. I think that could look really cool. Um, so I, was, I don't know. I, I got a cool idea and uh, hopefully it will work it's kind of like yeah encasing this kind of area shutting down this side breaching it down back over this way meeting on the cliff side and then putting all the dripstone down so it's 
kind of look like a dangerous pathway you have to get through to get to your nether and uh, you know enter all that danger so yeah I think I might just get into it because it's probably going to take me a little while and unfortunately we do not have replay mod just yet so uh, yeah that's probably what we're going to be doing for right now so I guess I'll just jump back into it and I'll maybe meet you guys halfway and see how it's going so uh, this is kind of my design here at the moment um, it's looking pretty cool I want to see if I can incorporate Maybe some more like deep slate and stuff, just because that's kind of like our vibe around this whole area and things. Um, plus, I think it would look pretty cool because we're going to be using the stone pathway, I'm pretty sure, in this area. So, like the pathway is going to come from like here and I think it's just going to blend too much. So, we might just come in here and just start replacing it with some deep slate and all that kind of stuff. Or maybe even use some tough blocks or something. I'm not really sure exactly how I wanted to get it done but I think maybe that's like an idea for us to at least try um, so we might just kind of like keep using something like this cobbled deep slate and stuff rather than like this nice polish style so we might just come in here and just start replacing some of this stuff and we'll see how it looks um, in the meantime so I guess I'll get back to work here and I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Right, I think that's looking pretty cool uh, so I got like a little bit of a gradient going on down here uh, with the deep slate and the cobblestone kind of coming upwards like as it would you know in, in the world, like it would start at the bottom and split off it into its way into the cobblestone. So I think that's looking pretty cool. I did go ahead and sprinkle in some ores around here, just some coal ores. I think just to help that gradient to kind of keep that pattern coming through, but change from the deep slate to the regular. I think that looks pretty cool. So I think this is looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and light it up and then we can kind of see how it looks from there. And uh, there we go. Nice. That's looking pretty cool. I like this little area. It's pretty co pretty cool, pretty cozy. Um, I think from here, we'll go ahead and kind of... I don't know if I want the pathway to come up this way or if we want it to lead, you know, around here and then go back across because I was thinking of doing that uh, automatic smelting farm. We might like it to extend the pathway coming up here and then have it on the top and then kind of have this bottom area. So we might even do a pathway like leading around this side and wrapping up here as well as coming down and across that way leading into this bottom area that we will be working on pretty soon because I, I have a decent idea. It's going to be our little storage room. Uh, it's going to be upgraded from what we currently have, but it's not going to be end game by far. So that's probably where we're going to be putting that just so it's, uh, you know, somewhat centralized and we can just, you know, come in the bottom and we can access all of our stuff just here. We'll also be adding like a bottom entrance to here and entering through the bottom there as well. So everything should be all nice and worked out. You know what we should do? We should just jump in our portal and see where it takes us. This is we're in iron armor. <laughs> oh god. Maybe wait, wait, hold on. I'll leave my pickaxe just in case somehow I just die instantly. Oh god. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I didn't even bring a pickaxe at all. Well, that was awkward. Not a terrible spot. Not not the worst one I've been in. Is there a fortress right there? Oh my god, that is so handy. I want to do a farm here, and it's gonna be a lot of effort. And I want to do like a wither farm so we can get things and I can sell beacons and that's like lit right right there. What the heck? I think someone, someone surely would have explored this because it, it would have linked up next to some other people's portals and some of that. Or at least close enough to it anyway. But that is so handy. I might need to go to a different one maybe or I could use that one. I'll, I'll have to see what we, what we want to do with the rules of that. Um, but oh. And it didn't link my portals. Well, my portal's over that way. I don't understand how this happened. Because I went through this portal. It made a new one. Shouldn't I come straight back through it? Like, I didn't build a new one or anything. I don't know. I'll have to check with... I think I tried out with me last time with a website or something like that. Trying to link them. But, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out for sure. And um, hopefully it's all good. Because... I don't want to have to run back all the way over here anymore, but yeah, anyway, so that worked out well. <laughs> we at least got that done and out of the way, so I guess let's go ahead and jump into the main part of the build. It's down underneath here. I'll finish up this pathway once I decide what I want to do up here, so I might just leave that for now, but let's go ahead and start working on this bottom room down in the mine entrance and get that all sorted. 
Alrighty, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to raise this up one layer. So this is going to be like our floor layer just along here. Uh, just so then that way we don't have to, you know, deal with the bedrock being there and stuff. So I think this would be a much uh, better way to do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle some of this stone around. I think that might be an easier way to do it. And then we could just fill in the rest with the stone and uh, get this place looking uh, much nicer than what it currently is. Because right now it is uh, not looking very good at at all so let's go ahead and put one more block uh, right there nice okay so now I just gotta go ahead and fill all this in okay so I guess what we could do is just start with the pillars of this room because they're not gonna be overly difficult to uh, get sorted so really what we want to go ahead and do is lay out all of these on these markers that I've already placed uh, we will need one more just here there you go um, and then from here we can go ahead and build them up a little block so what I was thinking of doing is using the chiseled uh, dip slate just because it's it's literally like the best block ever uh, <laughs> we don't have any more of it and I don't even have a crafting oh yes I do this is there I was gonna say I don't even have a crafting table with me but I do okay now on each of these we can just go ahead and throw in some stairs around each of the sides just here just to get it nice and looking pretty good so we probably could use just dirt blocks for that but anyways uh, we might leave this back wall just here because I think I'm gonna just go ahead and fill it in anyways um, with like just blocks at the moment I was gonna extend this one more but this is gonna work out like not well at all so I thought I might as well just go ahead and do it something like this and then we can just at least get everything nice and sorted so let's just go ahead and spin that around there we got one more in the middle I think or two more in the middle actually yeah so these are our pillars here that we're going to have these are going to go all the way to the roof we might even take out this middle one potentially it just kind of seems a little bit too crowded in here so we might get rid of that one um, and just leave these ones on the outside just there but as you guys can see they kind of already make like a cut out of room uh, what we're doing here is just, you know, kind of this way and we'll just chuck in a stair or something so we can get up and down really easily. Um, and then just put the door kind of in this area just so it's kind of blocked off and hidden and all that stuff. But we can easily come up and down and no dramas there. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some wood because we need all that. And then we can, you know, grab the rest of our stuff that we'll need and continue this build. So uh, this entire time working down here, I've been hearing this slime and I could honestly not find it to save the life for me and uh now we have it so that's pretty cool um yeah it's 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 right back that way i just want to check see if there's see i knew there was something else around here what do we got in here music discs bones gunpowder okay nothing too exciting but that's pretty close to our house too Alrighty, guys i've gone ahead and completely finished up this room now well 98% finish it. There's a little bit more stuff that we need to do, but it's not too much of an issue. Uh, so let's go ahead and spin around just here. So this here is the room. It's fully completed. Um, the reason why I didn't do too much just at this area yet is because I'm going to be doing that cart system, as I said. So I didn't want to tidy up that too much. Um, but I wanted to add a little bit of like features here on the walls that we can use for storage. I don't really think we'll ever go into, but you know, it's just there and it helps it look a bit more realistic. So yeah, that's kind of why we did that. Um, just really kind of looking at this just right now, I kind of want to. It's not a really big change at all, but it just helps. I don't know. It just kind of looks a little bit better. Um, um, so we might do something like that along the doorways or something, maybe put even change this design up a little bit more and kind of make it a bit nicer, I suppose. Um, but for the meantime, it's looking pretty good. Everything's nice and lit up. Now, I know these two are not in line. It's because I don't have a central point in this like roof design. So they're going to have to like, they just offset each other. So the same with this one here, they just offset each other. I think it works out pretty well. It still looks pretty uniform and all that stuff. So I'm not too worried about that at all. But yeah, this is pretty much the whole design. We need one more lantern over here i had a lot of issues with this corner here it kept catching on fire because there was lava behind there and oh my god it was it's been an effort i've had to do it multiple times uh but the reason i didn't do anything just here yet is because i'm not sure exactly how far i want to extend this or you know like what i want to do exactly for that area so i just kind of left it uh, plain wood we might even just come and texture it real quick there we go, just a little bit of texturing on it, but nothing too crazy. Uh, but yeah, that's why we have kind of left that as it is. Uh, but this this bit here needs a little bit more work. It just kind of all blends into each other too much. So I might even change these stairs for maybe some blackstone stairs. on That look pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is the floor. Pretty simple, just plain stones, tiles, and all that kind of stuff. But seeing as we didn't get to do too much today together, uh, I'm going to go ahead and 
put down a few of these because uh, we didn't get to do really too much together today and I don't know how much longer um, this episode is going to go for so we might just go ahead and start exploring this thing together. Um, I think it's up this way if I'm not mistaken and we come down here and boom there it is nice. Sweet. So I'm going to start gathering all these ores because as you guys can see, I have like no experience left. I went ahead and enchanted another diamond pick and combined the two. So now we have Unbreaking 3 on here, which isn't the worst thing. It was just mainly because this pick was almost broken. So I needed to like restore it and that was kind of the easiest way to do that. Uh, what we might do is just break some of this up with a normal pick and we can craft a few uh, torches because we're almost out. And I'm going to be stealing some of these railways as well uh, because we're obviously going to be using the railways to cart our uh, mine, uh, like our mine carts and the stuff all the way up. So that's kind of my thinking between that. So let's go ahead and just get a couple of torches going. Those diamonds, I just missed all the diamonds. I would have just missed those. Oh, we found a geode. Heck yeah. I was just saying, like, I've never even found one of these yet. And there's one right here. That's awesome. It sounds so good to break. <laughs> God, will we clean that place up? Look at all this uh, amethyst crystal he got. That's awesome. Oh, we found a glow squid. I'm sorry, glow squid. We found some diamonds. Ooh, found some more diamonds. Thank you for coming. Hey, sunlight, and I found my place. Nice. Yeah, I, c I could not find where, <laughs> where I originally started. There's so much of that uh, underground mine shaft that I have not even, you know, half explored yet. But at least we made it back. So that's the important thing, right? Yeah, totally. Um, I think in between now and next episode, though, I'm going to work on this pathway a little bit. Uh, get the rest of this design sorted out and probably cut out the area for the track to be able to go on to and uh, I think we'll so we'll probably sort that out a little bit uh, we'll probably go explore the nether a little bit too that would be pretty fun and I also want to sort out our storage room because uh, this is getting beyond a joke you look at look at my inventory it's full uh, but yeah we got these diamonds we got a lot of those blocks um, I'm pretty cool uh, hopefully we get a fortune pickaxe next episode as well we can start using some of these diamonds and get some decent gear and all that kind of stuff so yeah I think we might go ahead and um, call there for the day guys so if you have enjoyed this one at all don't forget that like button subscribe and the notification bell all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next episode later